if the only way she's going on vacation with you is if you foot the bill, then she doesn't want to go on vacation with you. She just wants to go on a free vacation. Now, there's nothing wrong with taking a woman on vacation if that's what you want to do. Just recognize the difference that she don't want to go on vacation with you. She just wanted to go on a free vacation. And if she had to foot the bill, y'all wouldn't be going together. She'd be going with somebody else. Say, bro, you know what the sad thing about this is? A dude will willingly still sign up for that situation. Oh, yes, indeed, dog. Oh. For cat. If it's, especially if somebody he really like. I'm saying, though, He dog. really like, he might just simp out and just take it anyway, dog. He might not even have to smash. He just gonna want to go do it for the gram. Y'all gotta stop capping. Some dudes be simping for the cap, dog. For pictures and likes and little small videos for the for the gram, I get it. I get it, especially if she a real baddie. I, I don't get it. Fuck all that, bro. I thought the end goal was to bust her cheeks up, man. Support. I think that's what the end goal is. And if a girl don't want to go with you on no vacation, if you not paying for it, then are you really clapping them cheeks? No. Probably not. No. Nope. Or you not hitting it right. One of the two. No. Nope. Probably don't even stand a chance on getting it, and you wasting time and energy on a vacation for a woman that don't really find you attractive because. If she had to foot the bill or even pitch in, she should want to go with you if she really like you. That's true, dog. And trips ain't cheap, dog. Trips ain't cheap. So Shit, really, dude. you you really taking care of, man. How much is a normal trip to Miami? Bro, listen, I'm going to tell you like this. A nigga, me and you both know, I ain't going to say his name on camera. He just went to Portland, Oregon, bro. Mm -hmm. And he was doing all kind of little shit, you know, but nothing crazy. He said he spent two bands and his girl spent like 500. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. He carried the bulk. He, played, he paid for the flight. Yeah. He, the food yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, you know, she bought some little shit here and there, yeah. but she fuck with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She don't make a lot of money, but she gave what she could. Uh, I bet she gave a little bit more at the end of the oh, night, too. Man, you know, man. Man. No, she probably ate that. So here's time. the thing, bro. You take a girl on vacation, you go and have a good time, right? You out there, you buying the drinks. Y'all getting, y'all having alcoholic drinks, right? Mm -hmm. You might even find some smoke, and y'all really getting high. Y'all doing all these fun things, seductive things, emo things that get y'all physically want to get close and intimate, right? Uh, but yet you can't, you can't cross the finish line. What's you would be listen, bro? Your neck. <laughs> there it is. That's the gayest thing you've ever done. What? What the fuck? I don't know, man. Speaking of you. <laughs> Not the gayest thing you've ever done today, the gayest thing you've ever done. Probably this. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Talking to a guy in the street that I don't know is wearing an only shirt, bro. I don't know, man. What else you got? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, I, I got nothing else to <laughs> this for Say, bro, I'm going to keep it real with you, dawg. At first, I was thinking, like, he really trying to play homie. But if you really think about it, why are you interested in knowing what the gayest thing another grown ass man ever did before? Yeah, it's like, true, why would that even cross your mind? He so he that, well though. within his rights to say that. Like, yeah, probably talking to you right he, now. He like that. <laughs> he probably looking at his toes out and everything. Look, homie got his toes out. You know, see, he probably he probably profiling. You know what time it is? It wasn't no shot. You know, he was up to something stupid. You on the OnlyFans shirt, bro? Look, you ain't you ain't wearing the OnlyFans shirt if you ain't really trying to put sexual content out there like that so what do you think dog what do you think man i man that whole interaction would have made me uncomfortable bro yeah you know dog. what i'm saying you bro? actually real man man What's this that? dude wearing white look, shorts bro i don't trust that is that look, white shorts i don't know but look check this out dog you go up to a real man and ask him what's the gayest thing you've ever done you gonna get punched in your face more than likely Exactly. If he come from the seventies and exactly. under, he might knock your block off. He took it lightly, man. Your man had a a, a really snappy response, bro. No shade, no tea, but y'all tell me why somebody invited me on a date, right? So I done did my makeup, put my outfit on. They said we going to a basketball game. Let me show y'all where the fuck they got me sitting there. I done left their ass. I'm sitting in a whole nother seat because I don't even give a fuck. Like, why would you even play with me like that? I was running game on you. Y'all, do y'all see how high I am? Okay. And they keep texting my phone, talking about where you at, where you at. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I'm finna find me another date. These motherfuckers finna play musical chairs, dog. I'm finna just make this the best out this shit, y'all. They play some basketball musical chairs, and I'm finna show y'all what they do. <laughs> you pointing lasers. <laughs> you know one thing standing out to me already, bro. What's that, son? Me, but it's okay, y'all. When I tell y'all I came with somebody, 
give a fuck, Keisha? Now I'm finna go get me some food from somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna get some food from, y'all, but we gonna get us something. Something smell good. Now I'm ordering some food, y'all, because... Is that all you want, just the basket? Yeah, the chicken to the basket. They don't have... Oh, they do got drinks. Um, can I get, uh... Lemonade? This shit look like it's good, though. I can't even cap on it. Now I'm over here getting sauces for my shit, because, yeah. Bad bitch. 50 flow. Eating hibachi. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. And just to clarify, this is not the girl who been doing stuff for me on TikTok. This is not her. My booski would never ever do this okay just to clarify oh earth is ghetto i want to leave yeah get me the fuck out of here it get worse <laughs> you cannot make this up bro whoa oh you can't make this up dog now listen let me tell y'all some real shit bro when i ask you well, when I said something already standing out to me, dog, you know what it was? Can you take a wild guess that what it was, bro? She take a wild guess. She, she was going both ways? No. No. I said that before we found that out. No. What, what was this, huh? You noticed that she never elevated her seat level. She stayed in the same nosebleed section the entire yeah. time. Yeah. She's shitting on whoever that is that bought her to the date. Yeah. Because they got her in the nosebleed. Yeah. Bitch, you can't even. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that, but you can't even afford to upgrade your own seats. Use a chicken tender ass girl, bro. Like, you ain't even ordered nothing expensive. You broke. Let's be real. Say it, dog. And my thing is. Uh, you, she also ain't cold at all. I at see what I do put in the nosebleed. He ain't trying to be seen with you, bro. We got you three rows from the top. Run it back, you three rows from the top. Look, 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 look. They treat everybody like they so disposable, bro, because she said, if before y'all ask, there's not the one that be spending money on me on my social media. This, I never play with my booski like that. So basically, she got somebody who's investing in her, but she's still playing the field, keeping her options open, bro. Y'all got to be careful with these women. Dog. They ungrateful. Some of them are ungrateful. They mad that you had nosebleed seats when they're unable to afford better seats themselves because I'm going to keep it real with y'all. If you was a real boss type of female, you left buddy or whoever that was to only stay in the same position when you were talking about you came with somebody but you leaving with another one it looked like you stayed lonely for the whole time in the same spot and you was eating chicken tenders and no offense to the chicken tender eating people but if you claiming to be so high class man i would think you would get some better food when you at the game because when i go to the game if i have the option to get something for real to eat I'm opting with that. I'm not getting no Zaxby's or chicken. None of that, man. If they got some pasta with some lobster, I'm going to do that. I'm here for the experience. I'm going to just go ahead and say this, dog. Juggling oh, from the way bro. she reacted <laughs> to her chicken up. basket clip, she is basic as any other person you can buy. Dog. She a cheesecake she factory. A, she, she a basic. I wouldn't even take her to Cheesecake Double Factory. Say, First, like, Applebee's two for 20 right now. Late night, Saturday night, bro. That's what she get. Dog, chicken tenders. And she had the nerve to post that. That chicken tender basket was shitty, dog. She actually built like one of those chicken tenders. I think a million dollars is a lot of money. No, you don't. No, I don't, actually. The woman's been with you six years. She's been, as she said, incredibly loyal. She, you're finally going to get married. You have a child. Give her the $25 million. Well, I guess I look at everything like a deal. I built this empire. And I did it by myself. Yeah. Nobody did it for me. Yeah. Not of honor. Not Marla, nobody. And I think that because somebody marries somebody that built something huge, doesn't necessarily mean that just because they get a divorce that they should end up, you know, like the Queen of Sheba. Yeah, son, dog. I, I, I believe, dude, man. You build an empire, bro. You successful, right? Any part of your life, man. And look, she actually came at the, what, second half 
of his life, bro, he was already established, dog. Already established, built. All right? She knew what she was getting into, and it's not right for any man, not just Donald Trump. I'm talking about you all, you hard-working blue-collar guys out there running construction companies, roofing companies, all these other things where you putting in your hard sweat, blood, tears, everything for you to lose it all to a woman that you just met five years ago and you decided that she might just be the one? Nah, I don't agree with that. I, I ain't gonna lie though, bro. I ain't even really want to talk about that concept. I really want to discuss how she just felt in, in her heart. Like, it was her place to be like, just give her the 25. Bitch, who is you? <laughs> like, bro, you ain't just give her 25 whole million dollars. And this looks like an old video. So we got to adjust it for inflation. Well, that's true. That's true. That boy had a full head of hell. Oh, he had full, full. He wasn't everything. wearing a toupee on uh -huh. thing. That, yeah. That's when he was on the coke dancing in the, yeah. Uh -huh. This is when black folks still was rocking oh, with him. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what I'm going to say is this, bro. 25 million back then, probably more like 30 plus million. And she's just like, just give her the 25 million. You married her, she has your kids. Ma'am, if you don't get the hell out of here with that bullshit. See, that's that vaginal thinking that we be talking about bro i'm telling you bro that's what i think the interview would have went different if a man was interviewing oh god bro that like, like ain't no man for that hey yo no. bro you uh, uh yeah yeah your bro would be like yo so i'm guessing you're just gonna go ahead and keep all that fortune keep it moving huh what you working on next you know? oh god can you imagine a dude saying just give it a 25 dude, million bro nah, nah, no, no, that, was, that was a very <laughs> feministic <laughs> ass question bro boy you was definitely raised by two mothers I just had a conversation with a man that made me realize how truly confusing it must be to be a man trying to interact with women. This man thought that I hated him. Simply because I want to talk to him, I want to look at him, I want to get... I just generally would not acknowledge his existence. And while that is how I would act towards somebody I don't really care for, that's not true towards energy. I also act that way towards people I like. You got to hear me out now. No, you sound... You don't know what it feels like to have a crush. When you're looking forward to seeing them and you just look at it like everything they do is just perfect. And then you get to know them. Sometimes you just gotta let beautiful things be. A crush only stays a crush if you never talk to them, you never look at them, you never get to know them. And that's just what I'm trying to do. But also, that man could also be my husband and I'm blocking my blessing because he could be perfect. That kind of messed me up. He could be perfect, but he could also be the person that ever happened to me. Because all the worst times in my life were due to a man. <laughs> and I'm enjoying my life right now. I'm having fun, I'm eating good, I'm sipping hard. Got to worry about nobody cheating on me. Nobody's actions can make me feel any type of way. And I don't know if I'm going to risk that. This was supposed to be funny. Maybe I should talk to that man. No, I ain't going to do that. Nope. But anyway, I just understand. I understand how ghetto and how confusing and how frustrating it could be to be a man and trying to interact with, with women. Because you know, sometimes 2 plus 2 equals 4. Sometimes 2 plus 2 equals 27. And uh, I don't got the answer. So she really sounds like she got major commitment issues, dog. Like you know she sounds like she never advanced past <laughs> third grade mindsets. You know, like when a girl like you in elementary school, she hits you and all kind of dumb shit like that, bro. She's basically still stuck in a childhood mentally, bro. Yeah, dog. She she all that man. She look like she can't commit to a man, dog. Cause look, check this out. What happens if a man was to do that and say that about her? All oh, hell of break oh, loose, yes, man. man. She, she he gonna... childish. He immature. He da da da. He toxic. He, all this. Kind yeah. Of stuff, why man. he don't want to marry me? All that stuff, man. Cause look, the same mind. energy you put out is the same energy men gonna return. I'm telling you. So this is why dudes die early, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It be the stress, bro. They be dying to get away from these boy. Look, hey, could you imagine actually being with her in a relationship? She said, "I like being single because I don't gotta worry about nobody." You know. <clears throat> This is crazy to me, right? Women got this women's intuition and all that kind of stuff. They're always afraid of this one thing. Their biggest thing that they're afraid of is getting cheated on. Yeah, son. That's what they lead with. She's like, I don't got to... The first thing she said, she didn't have to worry about is being cheated on. But why, though? I because, know you, and you know what it is, man. They all going after the same type of dudes, the same archetype, bro. They all going to cheat. Let's be real. And they're not willing to do what they're supposed to be doing. Test sure up the nice guy man, who's not going to cheat. To make sure they man ain't going to well. They ain't going to want to submit. They ain't going to want to these things. They ain't going to want to cook the man breakfast when it's early. He ain't hungry. He don't feel up like getting... Feel like getting up out the bed. They ain't gonna want to do those little basic things, bro. Listen to them, make them feel appreciated. All this yeah, man, little duck ass man. <laughs> She'd be like, "Yo, take the kids to school today and pick them up." And I'd be like, 
hell no. <laughs> right? Like, I got one. Like, I'll go take them. I'm good for that. If I pick them kids up, they want to go get something to snack on or eat. I got to take them to Kumon. Then they're going to make me stop at a Target or something. And then they argue. So I can't make a phone call, send a text message, or do nothing. And then they ask me, my little one will ask me a million questions. Mm -hmm. Cameron does not leave me alone. Her? I don't know. They'll get in the car. She can play her music. I don't get to play music in the car. It's one, two, three. We all got to rotate and pick songs. Yeah. But they ride with her. Oh, they get in the back. They either on their tablets. They doing they little Kumon work. She got to organize. Daddy come? It's up. Mm -hmm. And she's like, pick him up from school. I'm like, nah, that's a three-hour <laughs> job. I won't be able to do anything. And that's from three o'clock to six o'clock. And then I'm tired. Man, it's a whole lot of validity into what he just said, bro. If you really pay attention to to like the mom and the dad dynamic dog one of them is the stern parent and the other one the kids get away with murder with dog type shit and like it's like bro i don't know about you and your baby mama bro but like with mine bro like they gonna come to me and ask me for something that they know damn well she gonna say no to and try to finesse me bro like i already know how they coming bro i see through that shit man Everything he just described, bro, when I be picking up my nephew and my uh my daughters from school, they just clash. They just go at it, bro. From but then when they get around their mamas, man, their mamas don't play that shit. I guess it's cause I'm more patient, bro. I don't be trip. I like to hear them rip each other. I ain't oh gonna yeah, dog. <laughs> See, I say, dog, like my kids and the, and they yeah. my little nieces and nephews, bro. For some reason, I don't know why they feel like I got the answer to everything. Everything. Yo, uncle. Yo, daddy. What? What? I'm like, oh, I. I mean, I guess I got the answer for everything. They won't leave me alone, son. Yeah, but, you know, bro. I kind of like that shit. You know, your boy gotta have an answer for him. You know. You're a mystery like that. Why is it so hard to date in Atlanta? Because. These men really don't be one women, they be one um the other sex. Oh, some in Atlanta. Oh. You, you, like for everybody, you think that's everybody though? Everybody should in that category? No, not everybody, but honestly, if we just being transparent, keeping it real, a lot of men in Atlanta they come to Atlanta to kind of come be on that scene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but, I, I ain't know. Yeah, they come. They come. They come here to like, you know, sashay, sashay a little bit. <laughs> do all the shit that they weren't doing in their own city. Sashay is no. crazy. Yeah, sashay is definitely, but I had, let me see, I, I gotta go. Say, my thing is this though, right? All roads lead to you not being the problem. That's what it always is, bro. They come up with the most elaborate reasons that don't lead back to them. Right. Oh, yes, indeed, dog. And they want to call the dudes, but hey, it is Atlanta. I ain't going to lie to you. I heard rumors about how they get down in Atlanta, but man, it ain't even just the women in Atlanta saying this type of stuff. Like, man, they feel like if a woman shoot her shot at a man that she don't like and he don't respond, oh, he must be, you know? Yeah, they, man, they're throwing him the you rainbow, know, the rainbow flag on the field. Ha! Penalty, right? Man. Man, you got to like, consider the fact that you just might be cool to him. Like, you might be garbage, trash looking at him. He might see the signs, bro. Come on, man. Let's just be honest. If you were sitting there, guys, I know you you probably thinking that she cold, but she's sitting there, she having this conversation with you. You just eyeballing. You stereotyping. She got the nails. She got the baby oh, hair. Hey, she man. popping grapes in the mouth. She got all this going on, dog. You, you, she, <laughs> you still think she going to be all that? Like, that's the girl you want to commit to? Nah, like, I'm sad, dog. You, you want night them type. Bro. Yeah, you that's put it. it up, dog. You might get a bottle of champagne. It's going to be a nice little night, and that's it. Champagne? Bro? You know, you at the club, dog. You going to pop a bottle of wine. I don't know. Hey, look, I don't go to the club like that, but I'm I'm club, I can imagine bro. champagne costs a lot of money. I'm cost. taking a bottle of Sirocco Patron in the club. It's probably more than a bottle of champagne, dog. I ain't, trying to, I ain't trying to break the bank on, on nobody. In the well, club. I ain't never even considered the bottle of champagne in no club. I couldn't tell you, but I know. A bottle of something that costs thirty dollars in at Walmart or some shit probably gonna be five times that yes, amount indeed. at the club. I'm not doing all that. Yes, indeed. I don't know what y'all regional food is, but the, the woman he just described that's crawfish and some big shots <laughs> or daiquiri on the lake. Backseat action. Niggas from New Orleans know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up, man. Sorry. Okay. Are y'all first cousins? Okay, how long y'all been talking? Oh, yeah.
Hey man, that's kind of messed up, bro. So basically, what it was was this. <laughs> The dude called his real cousin. That's his real cousin. And she pretended like they not cousins and that they actually doing something. Dog. That's that, what I didn't say. I didn't dog. I don't, dog, that video caught me by surprise. That's that's what happened. Cause yeah. I was like, I was sucked into like man trying to figure out damn what what was really going on. Yeah, that, man. His first cousin lied on him and basically was like, Yeah, that's my little yeah. So that was a setup for him to break up with her, is what you're saying. Yeah, bro. my question that, is, what's the motive though? Like, why did she? No, 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 no. That's not the case. What do you think? Like, the girl, I was reading the comments, man, to get a feel for the video, but so I don't have to watch it. But they said that that was his real cousin. Ah, that's cool. And she that's planned, cool. she one of them type of people that take jokes too far. Oh. And don't know cool. how to end the joke before it's like, you know, irreparable damage done. Homie said, don't put your hands on me, dog. I'm going to tell you about a story. I did that to you before. What you a dude, though, son? I said, dog. Oh, oh, oh yeah, he's fighting, dog. But I just take you back to the cousin. time, bro. Look, I was at this house party, dog, and I'ma straight up tell you, like, a old old chick called my phone, right? You was there, huh? I don't know. A old chick called my phone, bro. I ain't even had the number saved or nothing. It was just old, out the blue. Yo, this son. And then my shorty next to me was like, "What? Who's that? Who asking for you? Who asking for you?" Well, oh, took the phone, everything. Like, who this is? Girl was like, "Oh, I was just calling the old number, blah blah blah." It, it was a booty call. She was just calling the, the smash, but some somebody that was way back the date wasn't even relevant at the time. Dog, the worst worst case scenario, son. I'm there at her uh, at her house with her people. So guess what? I know you talking about her cousins, her auntie, her her sister in law, her bro. I'm, they all about to get they they about to fight me now, dog. They about to, the about to try to whoop the fuck out of me, dog. <laughs> all for nothing, dog. I don't even know. I don't even have this number saved, dog. dog I'm, I'm really in the street. I'm really in the street backpedaling, like, bro. I'm like, dog, my hands about to go up. Like, I'm getting crowded right now, dog. Boy, they about to crowd the fuck out your ass, huh, boy. Boy, they about to stomp. They dog, hey, all it takes is one simple phone call, bro. You can't a lot of shit, dog. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you either, dog. He fuck. He well, I ain't gonna lie. Back in the day, he fuck with them hood bitches too. They got gangster brothers and shit. Like they all about that. Like, dog, <laughs> you about to get fucked up, nigga. <laughs> bro, I was dating this one girl. Her brother was like, "You ain't gonna help me jump up. You gonna have to fight him one on one. What's wrong with you?" Oh. <laughs> Man. Hey, look, that's one dog. That's one thing I ain't never did was oh, try to jump somebody. Man. I always believe in if your hands ain't that cold, dog, that's on you, bro. You better straight like that. Now, now what I will do is this. Now, like, like I, I break up. No, 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 fuck all that. I'm gonna tell you what. That's different. Like, I right, cool. I actually found myself in a situation like this before. This before I met you. So, my partner Kevin, he fighting a nigga, and. The dude he fighting got a partner that's looking hella thirsty like he won't jump in. <laughs> he approached my partner like he was about to swing. Well, I gave it to that nigga, dog. Oh, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I'm, I'm, man, listen, bro. I'm about that. If my dog running a fair one with you, like if I see you fighting Facts. a nigga and then one of his Facts. partners come, boy, I'm knocking that nigga head Facts. off his shoulder. Yeah. Oh, you got God. your boy on side, emptying out his pocket, taking off his shirt, looking like he about to jump in on, on the sideline. Yeah, you gotta get one in, dog. Say, bro, one thing about me, man, I ain't gonna run from a fade, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't ask for the drama, but once it's here, I'm with it. I'm gonna say that much. I'm with it once it's here. I don't condone violence, fellas. Matter of fact, we need to pray our way out of these type of situations and don't do as I do, do as I say. God damn it! I'm gonna get at y'all on the next one. There it is. <laughs>